lot to talk about today on the Now Indy, and we begin with two breaking news stories. The first, a shooting and an ambulance crash. The Now's Mike Felton is live near 38th and Oxford with the latest information. Mike? Well, Candace, a very bizarre afternoon for emergency crews here on the northeast side. All of it started with a double shooting here at the intersection of 38th Street in Oxford. Behind me, you can see crime scene tape, and investigators are here at the Clark gas station. They are still trying to piece this double shooting together, but here's what we know. Police say earlier this afternoon there was some sort of dispute that led to a man and woman ending up shot here at the gas station. Now, emergency crews showed up. They couldn't find them. They found one victim nearby at 38th and Rural. The other drove to 34th and Sherman. That that's where Cruz found that victim. Now, we now want to take you over to 25th Street and Keystone because as an ambulance was en route to the hospital, it wound up in a crash. Now, EMS tells us they were transporting a gunshot victim. Because of the extent of that person's injuries, an IFD firefighter was driving the ambulance. EMS says the southbound ambulance swerved to avoid another crash in front of them and then collided with a northbound utility truck. Fortunately, I'm told nobody was injured as a result of that crash. The gunshot victim who was in the ambulance was taken taken in another ambulance to the hospital and I can tell you that both gunshot victims are at the hospital now in stable condition. Now back here to where all of this started at 38th Street in Oxford, you can see a lot of evidence markers there on the ground. They are waiting to look at surveillance video from this gas station because Candace at this point police have not made any arrests nor have they released any possible suspect information. Of course, as we get that information, we'll pass that along in the coming hours. For now we're live on the northeast side for the Now Windy Mike Pelton RTV6.